don't turn the toes out too much we are going to grind the heels into the floor rotate the quads out so bring the heels in a touch and turn the toes out a touch good we're going to stick the butt out behind we're going to lift through the midsection good so really think about pushing the pelvis out and behind we're going to put a small push of tension through the knees yeah so this just helps us to activate the hip flexors yeah so we're sticking the butt out we're lifting through the midsection super okay from here we are going we're going to lean forward slightly in the upper body yeah so from the side we feel a little bit like this yeah we're going to lift through the midsection and we are going to flare the lats so just flare the lats for me ladies i'm going to open the lats up i'm going to come to you don't worry okay lean forwards in that upper body good hold nice good okay and relax so when we flare the lats what we really want to think about is the shoulder blade sliding outwards to open up the lats yeah what we sometimes do is when we flare the lats we want to feel it and put tension on it which means we do this and we want to do the complete opposite so what we want to do is think about this opening up yes the shoulder blade is sliding and opening out so just keep the arms down for me when we flare the lats what we want to think about is from the shoulder blade here so just lean forwards in the upper body for me and keep the chest lifted relax the arms down and we're going to open up from here with the shoulder blade keep this arm down super so the shoulder blade slides out feel that yeah shoulder blade from here slides out yes yeah so then we can see when the shoulder blade slides out we've got a straight line from shoulder to shoulder here and we're flaring those lats out and the arms sit here good okay super so ladies flare the lats on this side for me okay just totally relax totally relax lift the chest up first of all and just open up under here there we go face the front body to the front super and flare and open the arm up so you really need to just spend some time practicing that movement where the lats are yeah. this is better loads better good super arms down nice perfect so don't lean backwards lean forwards nice good open these arms up just a touch and we want to just put a soft fist in the hands yeah heel of hand should be pushing down towards the floor so when we're flaring totally relax for me totally relax we're going to open up good so when we flare try not to think about flaring by doing this and moving the arm we really need to spend time learning how the lat moves independently and the mechanics of how it's moving and sliding out yeah so relax again for me so when the shoulder blades open we just slide this around the corner almost yeah so we're not thinking of pushing down or trying to scoop it's literally and um, just step forwards for me keep going keep going, keep going. and spin round okay so let's just look just move the hair off the back so flare the lats okay so what we want to do is just set the lower half up as well take the feet outside don't lean backwards lean forward slightly so no tension here the shoulder blade here what we're trying to do is push this round and open yeah so the shoulder blade slides out as much as possible now this takes a little bit of time and practice because everything that we're doing here feels wrong because we want to try and feel it but we're trying to slide these out as much as possible keep the chest lifted up here yeah so think about that movement of the lats going from here to here yes relax thank you spin round again so from the ground up we're going to grind the heels into the floor rotate the quads up relax the arms down so that's the first thing you need to do relax the arms down because you're putting tension on straight away and these need to just slide less tension relax and open here yeah relax and open here nice better good midsection nice and tight okay so let me just see that from the front grind the heels into the floor stick the butt out behind lift through the midsection and we're going to open up the shoulder blade here nice good open up so not the arm allow this to slide and open up chest up no tension don't push against me let me slide this open good nice so what we're really looking for so if the arms stay close to the body you're definitely going to nip the lats in 
yeah we need to think about we need to allow space so when I am practicing and I'm sliding these lats out I'm trying to build a really strong connection and habit on just the lat yes I'm trying not to think about flaring the lats by rolling or moving the shoulders or moving the arms yeah so it takes time and just go in open the lat by itself open the lap by itself and it takes it it feels repetitive and boring but it's those kind of habits that serve you really well when you get on stage so we really think about opening up here lift the chest up here nice so your shoulders are your highest widest point we flare the lats lift the chest up good nice good stay lifted super nice flare the lats for me try not to scoop like this try and just allow the lat just to slide open here open this lat up good shoulders are a little bit dropped so what we also need to be mindful of is that we're trying to make the shoulders the highest widest point yes so if we allow the shoulders to drop here then I don't have a straight line from shoulder to shoulder so just remember you're being judged on an X frame so it's really important that the shoulders they're, they're not looking smaller than they are so you need to sit those nice and wide here sit them on top of the lats so from here we slide out here good hand midsection nice and tight we lean forwards in the upper body so lean forwards in the upper pull this nice and tight stick the butt out super good okay so from here also if the elbows are dropped in we're going to definitely lose the lats so relax the arms we're going to slide this out here and the arm is just here yeah super slide rotate lift the chest up here midsection nice and tight so really work on this feeling here good stick the butt out push through the knees perfect good and relax ladies okay so let's go now on to our side pose so let's face the side so from each of our poses we're always looking to showcase an x frame yes so we're making sure that we always have that nice strong shoulder to shoulder top line we've always got a taper on the waist and we make the lower reflect the upper so that means we want to make the butt as as um as curved or sweeped as the shoulder and the lat yes so from the side what we're going to do is going to go feet together we're going to tuck the left toe under yeah so we really want to feel like we're right on top of that left toe as much as possible we're going to make sure the right leg is locked so it's stable yes we're going to lift underneath the hip here midsection nice and tight we're going to place the right hand into the waist we're going to flare the left lat to the side yes yeah? so this is a teaching point it's a really good way to break down how you're setting up your pose so get right on top of this toe here glue the feet together glue the feet together feet. yes yes so what we don't want is a gap between the feet we want them oh. completely together yes yeah toes together as well. um no the toe wants to sit about here so right on top of that toe lift in the knee lift in the hip midsection tight hand into the waist and flare the lat here good super hold that ladies so we're flaring this way first of all because you really need to break this down so you can get this lat spread so glue the feet together midsection nice and tight good from here we're going to lift and twist pull the midsection in don't let that stomach push out keep it nice and tight good nice from here we are going to lift and twist around the front so what we're trying to showcase is a nice straight top line from shoulder to shoulder the lat is pulling forwards what we don't want to do is pull this lat behind now the heel of the hand pushes down towards the floor yeah so we don't open the hand up it pushes down towards the floor good so from here go again flare towards the side so tuck the toe under get right on top of that toe glue the feet together lift underneath the hip midsection nice and tight we flare this lat super soften the elbow and we lift and twist around the front now this don't pull the arm behind keep it in front hips go towards the wall soften the elbow lift the chest up good now what you're doing is you're pushing downwards here yes stay lifted get right on top of this toe bend the knee keep the heel glued in stick the butt out 
good now we need to rotate through the waist here around the front so not the arm let the waist so relax when we rotate around the front we really need to imagine that the upper and the lower are separate yes so when you lift and twist around to the front the lower half stays facing the wall the upper lifts and rotates yeah so what we don't want to do is as we twist we don't want to use the arm to twist around yes because then if we do what do we lose the shoulder and also the lats yeah so if we're doing our side pose and we're twisting around and we're allowing this to go behind or we're allowing it to pull down we lose that front lat and you really need that front lat to showcase the shape of the x-frame from the side yeah if we don't have it then you don't show that proportion from upper to lower does that make sense yeah so we're always trying to work towards showcasing an x-frame yeah so we've got feet together we tuck the left toe under there should be no body weight on that left toe we don't want to push down on it we lift underneath the hip midsection is nice and tight we pop the right hand into the waist we flare the left lat towards the side we maintain that as we lift and twist around to the front stick the butt out good and just pull the um, the right hand just above the belly button here here good nice the back hand you want to place it into the smallest part of the waist where it brings the eye line so we flare this lat out and we lift and twist lift and twist good now pull this arm forwards drop the arm lower here now lift and twist here hip bones go where to the wall lift the chest up 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 good nice super think about this lat don't lose it relax go back to the side so we flare this lat out good set the legs up lift underneath the hip hold this here soften the elbow so keep this lat lifting up keep that arm there hold hold that now lift and rotate around to the front so when you twist don't pull back here you twist through here keep that upper body forwards good lock the legs this one should be locked super good don't pull backwards here can you see what's happening there this needs to pull forwards here the twist comes through the waist good hip bones stay here relax when you twist don't try and let the arm twist behind this lat needs to pull forwards so you get the shoulder cap that's why we flare to the side and then we lift and twist around the front so once more from the side we tuck the left toe under we lift underneath the hip right hand goes into the waist we flare the left lat and then we lift and twist around the front Good. hold relax flare this way heel in feet glued together good keep this lap pulled out soften the elbow lift and rotate around the front here good flare that lat good nice super good no body weight on that left toe midsection nice and tight here good lift and rotate stick the butt out good keep that midsection tight 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 good nice good now because if the elbow points behind you're definitely going to lose the lat because the lat is pulling backwards so think about the elbow scooping under and forwards towards the front yes scoop that lat out as much as possible don't let the hand face up it should face down nice once more ladies so from the side we tuck the toe under we lift underneath the hip mid section nice and tight we lift and twist around the front feet should be glued together sticking the butt out don't let that arm twist behind so this elbow should be soft good don't let the elbow point behind good make sure your pose is active don't let it be soft everything should be switched on there should be internal activation lean forward slightly here good super okay from here ladies we're going to go to the back so let's face the rear don't worry about the transition we'll come back to that so let's move the hair around the right shoulder okay so from here the feet go outside of the shoulders heels in toes out quads rotated we grind the heels into the floor we rotate the quads out we're going to stretch back through the hamstrings and glutes so we should be sticking the butt out as much as possible from here we're going to lift through the midsection we're going to flare the lats out take both hands out for me good 
Relax, set that up again. So from the ground up, we grind the heels into the floor. We rotate the quads out. We lift through the midsection. We stretch out through the hamstrings and glutes. Lift the chest. We flare the lats out and we lift the chest up to the ceiling. So relax. And we go open up here. Hold. Let this one relax and open up. Good. <laughs> It will feel very, very strange if it's completely new. It'll feel a little bit like, what the hell am I trying to do? But it just takes practice. This side is flaring nicely. This side is just a little bit tight. So we want to think about opening this up. Super. Good. Okay. Relax. And let's just flare the lats here. Here. Hold. Relax the arm through the lat. Lift the chest. Here. Elbow under here good nice now really lift through here good nice here good yeah open up don't let those arms pull too far this way because you're just losing that top line yeah so you need to think about those shoulders rotating on top rear pose nice good let's just pull these out soften the elbows down a touch but you lift and scoop at the same time super nice good relax and stick the butt out and from here you lift loud here hold here and hold good nice here chest up good keep these pulling out there we go nice better super and relax nice good super do you feel the difference when when the lats open up and they and the shoulder blades spread yeah so it takes time and we have to really spend time if it's something that we're struggling with we really have to spend time just um going through the mechanics of it and especially to the back what we sometimes do is we want to feel it so we put tension on the muscle and we want to do the complete opposite we want to relax and open up the shoulder blade so you shouldn't feel like you are squeezing the back muscles together at all what we're really trying to do is open them up to the back and then from the back we want to see that top line so it means that we need to spread them here but then we need to open the shoulder up so we get that shoulder cap from the back as well yeah so do you not feel it do you just chew it rather than feel it no you're going to feel it but you're not going to feel it in the sense of squeezing and putting tension on the muscle okay. it's a different feeling it's a sense of the the lats are spreading and opening as opposed to squeezing and engaging okay. yes yeah, so you're still going to feel it but you're not going to feel it as um, as a squeeze yes so and it takes a little while for it to click into place um, as i said initially we'll know some of us who've been doing it a while that and it feels quite alien to begin with and we're not sure how it should feel yeah. but then when you start to see the shape happening and you can see the x frame you can see the top line the shoulder cap and the lats into the waist then you can see it so you can connect that with how it looks and feels okay. but it takes practice yeah okay from the back again so let's do that once more so we've got the feet outside of your shoulders we grind the heels into the floor rotate the quads out don't squeeze the glutes but engage the lower half good push through those knees super we're going to put a very small push of tension through the knees so what we're going to do is we're going to lock the legs out completely and then we just push a small amount of tension into the knees to so push into my hands a touch here good nice lock the legs out completely push into my knees hands push go on knees yeah there just that lock the legs out and push into the knees here yeah, perfect and rotate out so rotating those knees outwards totally lock the legs for me and push into my hands here and rotate those knees out super good nice lock the legs out completely for me and push into the knees and rotate out super nice good and stretch awesome from here we are going to flare the lats so think about that scoop don't try and feel it think about them spreading wide here arms a little bit lower softening the elbows lift the chest up pull the lats out nice and wide nice good then from here you're just going to open the arms up here good try and keep this feeling as you open the arms up lift the chest bend in the elbow nice stay lifted super good from here <laughs> it feels very very alien to begin with but i promise you it will come good 
Nice. Stay lifted in the chest. Up. Chest up to the ceiling. Stick this chest up. Good. Keep this nice and wide. Yeah, you've got a little bit of tension on this side, but this side is flaring nicely. Good. Nice. Go again, ladies. Work through those lats. Make sure you're spreading them nice and wide. Keep the hands out for now. Here. Here, you're pulling together so, so much. You need to round the shoulders in and you need to lift the chest up. Here, hold. No, nope, arms down. Totally take the arms out from it. Relax and just allow me to move you. Here, relax, drop the arms down. Lift the chest up. Here, hold. This is how it should feel. Yeah. Totally different, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're just very tense yeah. on that upper half. Um, so just... You need to spend time literally just doing this. Yeah. Just, just to pull it. Relax, and don't lift the yeah. shoulders when you do that. Literally just round the shoulders inwards here. Yes, then lift the, drop the arms. Let them just drop. Now lift the chest up. Perfect. Now from here, rotate. Here. This looks totally different. Lift the chest up. Don't hold here. Relax. Yeah. You hold a lot of tension in your upper body mm. anyway. But you just, when's your show? Think. <laughs> I think you, you need this all day every like, day yeah, yeah. Like get some deep tissue work done as well yes yes okay quarter turn ladies to face the side let's do this last quarter turn so we've got feet together we are going to tuck the right toe under we're going to lift underneath the hip here yeah so we've got a good bend in that front knee so it doesn't we want to have a little bit more bend there super right on top of the toe for me should feel like you're stretching that toe down towards the floor good super from here we're going to stick the butt out behind we're going to lift through the midsection left hand goes into the waist and from here we're going to lift and present around the front Think about the lat, don't lose it. Good, so drop the arms down. If the arm is too far away from the body, you're gonna lose the lat. So we open this up, hold, drop the arm down. Here, we lift and rotate here. Good, drop the arm down, it's too far away. What we don't want is a straight arm here and far away from the body. It needs to be softer, so the elbow can sit onto the lat. Good, midsection nice and tight. Here, lift and twist, relax. Flare the lat this way, and then lift and rotate around to the front. Okay. Super. Good, and relax. So it's the same thing, the same principles. We've got to think about breaking it down, lifting and twisting around to the front, yeah? Okay, super, let's go back to the front. We're gonna go through transitions. 